Now we're going to focus on detecting DNS errors. We've already looked at detecting DNS delays and we've made a filter expression button to help us find any time when the DNS response is greater than 500 milliseconds in time. But now let's look specifically for DNS error responses. So I've opened up tr-malaysianairlines.pcapng again and I don't need the TCP delta column in view and I do not need the stream index column and I don't need the HTTP time column in view. So at this moment I will right mouse click and just hide those columns. And we're interested in DNS response code so we have to look for a DNS response packet. Packet number two is a DNS response so I've selected it in the packet list pane. I'll expand the domain name system section in the packet details pane and the response codes exist inside of the flags section in the DNS response. So I have to expand out the flags section. And here's the field I'm interested in, the reply code field. If this field is set to a zero, it means that we have no error, everything's great anything other than a zero and it's a problem. Now there are a couple of ways of setting up this detection for DNS errors. Let me show you what happens when we use the right mouse click method way in Wireshark. First of all note that down on the status bar it tells us the name of this field which is dns.flags.rcode. Using the right mouse click method I'm going to right mouse click on that field and choose prepare a filter not selected. Now what Wireshark will do is put in a filter that begins with an exclamation point which means not and then the field name equal to zero. And you might look at that and think well that looks great I think that's going to work just fine. But if we apply this filter to test it out you'll notice that we have more than DNS packets that match this particular filter. In fact, there are DNS queries showing up because they don't have a DNS response code equal to zero. SYN packets show up because they don't have a DNS response code equal to zero. So this is the incorrect syntax to use to look for DNS response codes that are errors. If you do want to use the exclamation point, which means not, what you need to do is use the exclamation point equal sign combination. And once you use exclamation point equal sign, Wireshark is going to throw this to a yellow background, which is a warning. So a lot of people don't like using that exclamation point equal sign. The reason why it went to a yellow background is because if the field in front of it can match two distinct fields inside of the packet, this filter wouldn't work. For example, IP.ADDR. IP.ADDR matches two fields, IP.SRC and IP.DST. So in this case though, we only have one dns.flags.r code field in the packet. So we can use exclamation point equal sign to say we're looking for any packets that have that field and that field value is not equal to zero. So let's apply that. In this trace file we have no DNS errors. So let's open up a trace file that has DNS errors so we can make sure that this filter works properly. I'm going to open up the trace file called tr-dnserrors.pcapng and we can see immediately when we open this up that we have a number of DNS error packets, a total of eight in this trace file. So that's one way of building a filter that will look for errors. But because of the problems dealing with that exclamation point equal sign and the right mouse click method, it might be easier just to simply create a filter that looks for dns.flags.r code greater than zero. Your filter will have a nice green background and it will work just as the last filter worked. Once we've built that filter looking for any errors, we definitely want to save this. So we click the Save button and we create a filter expression button called DNS ERRS for errors. Click OK. 
And now when we open up a trace file, if we want to know if we have any DNS errors in the trace file, we just simply have to click that button.